It's not good enough. Good morning and welcome to Ellen Road. Fantastic, fantastic. What a fantastic and historic day we've got here today at Ellen Road. It's 40 years to the day since Leeds United won the Centenary Cup final. We're here to celebrate it. We're going to recreate 1972 here for you today. Now, the man that made it all possible, as you all know, was the amazing Mr. Don Reavy. I've been talking to Alan Clark, and Alan told me to tell you, as far as you're concerned, little Billy Bremner is captain through that time of the golden era, and of course that amazing day at Wembley. Billy Bremner always referred to the Don as Leeds United. He is Leeds United. Ladies and gentlemen, when you've been a fan as long as me, today is very, very, very a really proud day for me. I can't tell you what it's like to be here. And the fact you've all come down today is absolutely amazing. Now, before we do the unveiling, we need to see if the Leeds United supporters are in good voice today. Can you do that for me? Yes. Can you do that for me? Yes. We've got a little bit of music and we needed to sing along and let's get it going. Are you ready? Absolutely amazing. But ladies and gentlemen, these things just don't happen. What we're going to do today just doesn't happen. You need someone to make it happen. You need someone who we all know is his long overdue. And the man who's made it happen is here today for you. He's a driving force. His passion and belief in this project has brought you all here today and brought one man back home today. Ladies and gentlemen, please give a massive round of applause for the amazing Mr. Jim, the Godfather, Good morning, uh, Leeds supporters, one and all. I must explain about the sunglasses. For the last two weeks, as I've watched the rain come down in torrents, I can't believe we've got this sunshine. It really is true that Don Reavy has already started to play a part. And say so it must be saying somewhere, the sun shines on the righteous. We do have some special guests I'd like to mention before we start. We've got the patron of Leeds United, uh, the Countess of Harwood. 
we have many of the members of the 1972 FA Cup winning team and they will actually be unveiling the statue in a few minutes. During the process of the fundraising, we've invited at some stage every player who is surviving that ever played in a Don Revy team. And there are 10 or 12 of those today, including John Faulkner, Alan Peacock, and many others. So a welcome to those. The people at the front with the tears in their eyes are Kim and Don Revy, who are Don's children, and they have brought a party of family and friends to what must be a very emotional day to see their father finally return to Elland Road. So we're, we're gathered here to pay homage to Don Revy and every day, certainly every week of the past two years, I've been reminded of what an enormous influence he's been on this club. As a manager, he won the FA Cup in 1972. He also took a team there on three other occasions. He won the League Cup in 1968 and took the team into Europe to win two Intercity Fair Cup in the, the following years. Because of the fantastic achievements of Don. He also won the second division championship and twice the first division championship. For 30 years, people have said, we must do something about Don Revy. We must immortalize him in some way at Ellen Road. But like so many things, nothing happened. It was never done. Until two years ago, I was approached by the Yorkshire Evening Post for a meeting to say, look, they've been trying to get a statue moving. Would I, uh, with my colleague Graham Ibbison, be able to help? They said that we've already had uh, contact from former chairman Leslie Silver, and I think he's very keen to help. So I went along to see Leslie and his lovely wife Sheila and told them of the plans. And Leslie said, well, look, I'd really love to do it. So we started the ball rolling and found the Don Revy tribute. We went to see uh, Duncan. He thought it was a good idea, although he did change the statue a little bit. He thought it was a wonderful idea, and we got started. What we did is we put action where formerly there were only words, and the thing started to escalate. Because I found out that all the things I'd heard about the Leeds fans, the things I've read in the programmes, the newspapers were not true. Because every single thing we did with the fundraising for the Don Revy statue, the fans queued up to support. They supported and bought out the Don Revy tribute magazine, which reminded fans, young and old, exactly what a wonderful man he was, what incredible achievements he had. They supported the gala dinner. We raised thousands of pounds at the gala dinner. The 1972 club almost sold out. People wanted a maquette of Don Revy. So every step along the way, the fans have been incredible. And when we remove the veil in a few moments, you'll notice there's something missing. You can't find Coca-Cola. You can't find Burger King. You won't see Bet Fred. You won't even see Barclaycard. Because there's no sponsorship whatsoever associated with this statue. Every penny has come from a supporter of Leeds United who has been more than delighted to contribute. Not only in the Leeds area, not only in Yorkshire, we've had people from all over the world. I get calls almost weekly, certainly, often every few days from America, from Australia, Canada, Thailand, Ireland, wherever football's played now, they love Don Revy. They adore Don Revy. And let's remember, 
It's 38 years since he left the club. And what does this say, this wonderful crowd today, what does that say about Don Revy? It's absolutely fantastic. Now finally, I do hope that in the coming weeks and months, you'll all bring your children and your grandchildren to look at this wonderful statue, because it is a bit different. We've made it accessible. The fans can not only look at the statue, they can walk up, they can put their hands around the Don, and they can have the photograph taken. They can recreate history. But most of all, tell your children and your grandchildren about the great man and say, by the way, look at that statue. I helped to put that there. So ladies and gentlemen, it's almost the moment. Can we ask the members of the Leeds team that 40 years ago today won the FA Cup to unveil the statue to Van Leeuwen? Where's, where's Graham? You know when you're tired or not, can you untie it? <laughs> well. Ladies and gentlemen, hang on, hang on one second. We need a countdown, I think. This is something very, very special today. Am I right? So we have a little special Leeds United countdown. Are you ready, ladies and gentlemen? Five. Are you ready, boys? Five, four, three, two, one. Welcome home, Don. There's only one Don. Ladies and gentlemen, just while the uh, 72 team are having their photographs taken with this amazing statue, and it is fantastic. I think you agree, ladies and gentlemen? Yeah. Yeah. Absolutely amazing. We have Graham Ibbotson here. Graham, you must feel very, very proud about this today. Yeah, well, uh, Duncan and Kim's over there, and they just give me the thumbs up, so I feel very pleased, yes. Ladies and gentlemen, this is Graham Ibbotson, the sculptor of this amazing piece. Give me a round of applause for Graham. Another labour of love, Graham. Absolutely fantastic. <laughs> Ladies and gentlemen, we, uh, we'll be retiring back to the pavilion straight after this. Um, the guys today will not be able to stay all day and they won't be able to sign anything today. However, there are hundreds and hundreds of items back in the pavilion that the guys have signed throughout the year. They are um, on sale today. Everything we sell today will be given back to the Motor Neurone Disease Research, ladies and gentlemen. So a round of applause for that as well. Everything Penny raised today will be going back to Motor Neurone Disease Research. So uh, we'll see you back in the Bivolian a little later on.
Ladies and gentlemen, our 1972 FA Cup winning team are now making their way back to the pavilion. Please make them feel very, very welcome. Congratulations. We are lovely. We are lovely. We are lovely. We are lovely. We are lovely.